this explainer answers the question, what is a categorical proposition? We'll talk about the elements of a categorical proposition, as well as what it means for a proposition to be in standard form. A categorical proposition is a statement consisting of the following elements. Quantity, quality, noun or noun phrase, and a copula. These elements combine to form a subject predicate proposition consisting of two categories or classes of thing related to each other by quantity, quality, and a copula. The categorical proposition affirms or denies that at least one or all members of the subject category are members of the predicate category. Let's begin with quantity. The quantity of a categorical proposition is either universal or particular. The universal quantity involves every member of the class in question, namely the subject class, and depending on whether or not we're talking about an affirmative or negative claim, also the predicate class. For example, every dog is an animal has a universal quantifier in the word every. All squares are four-sided figures has the universal quantifier all. A particular claim refers to there being at least one member of a subject class that is or is not a member of the predicate class. So the particular claim is a claim that reflects less than or fewer than the entirety of a class, but it's not at all clear or it's not explicitly asserted how many we're talking about. At least one dog is a pit bull. Some triangles are right-sided figures. So the quantity of a claim involves how many of the subject class that we're talking about. The quality of a categorical proposition is the claim's affirmative or negative status. Every is, every dog is an animal, some are, some triangles are right-sided figures. The affirmative claims a positive relation between the subject and predicate classes. A negative claim is also either universal or particular. No are, no dogs are reptiles. Some are not, some triangles are not right-sided figures. A categorical proposition's quality is its status as affirmative or positive or negative. Combined, quantity and quality tell us how many of the class in question we're talking about and in what way. Now we've talked already about the category or class. Well the category or class is a category or class of thing. So categorical proposition relates to classes of thing and the class or category is expressed then by a noun or noun phrase. The noun is genera, species, place, time, date, etc. So for example, a class or category expressed by a noun could be dog, pit bull, backyard, 2 p.m., July 10th, etc. The noun phrase involves a modifier and a noun. We've got friendly dog, playful pit bull, overgrown backyard, hot weather, and so forth. Lastly, the copula is the conjugation of the verb to be. It's what separates, but also relates, the subject class from the predicate class. We've got is and are. The copula is either negated or not, or we can think of there being two copulas, an affirmative copula and a negative copula. So we've got some cats are not Maine Coons, some cats are Maine Coons, 
in each of these sentences, we have the conjugation of the verb to be that serves as the copula. Now, let's finish up uh, by pulling together a brief discussion, uh, or sorry, pulling together a number of uh, terms we've been using um, and talking about how we enlist these terms. So we know that the categorical proposition is a grammatical sentence. We've got a grammatical subject, which is reflected by the subject term. We've got the grammatical predicate, which is reflected by the predicate term. The grammatical subject is what the sentence is about. The grammatical predicate tells us about the subject. In a categorical proposition, the term, that is the word we're using, the noun or noun phrase we're using, picks out the class, category, or set of objects in the categorical propositions, subject, class, or predicate class. So we have, for example, no roosters are bovines, where roosters is the subject term and the word roosters reflects the subject class. Bovines is the predicate term. It reflects the class or category of bovines. Similarly, we could say that some plants are succulents, and when we do, we assert plants as the subject term, succulents as the predicate term, or we could talk about the subject class plants, the predicate class succulents. Members of the subject class are or are not included in the predicate class. For a discussion of inclusion in or exclusion from a class, please see the video, what is the distribution of a term in a categorical proposition. Lastly, let's talk about standard form. A categorical proposition is in standard form when the quantifier, subject class, copula, and predicate class are asserted. Look at these examples. The original proposition and then the standard form proposition. So a categorical proposition does not have to be in standard form, but we put it in standard form in order to more clearly see the logical structure of the proposition and then also to make certain inferences from it. We're less likely to make mistakes when we do so. Thoroughbreds are horses. In standard form is all thoroughbreds are horses. Most kittens are cute. In standard form is some kittens are cute animals. Cheaters aren't winners. In standard form is no cheaters are winners. Lots of dogs don't growl. In standard form is, some dogs are not growlers.